right now on Fox 35 News at 10. New tonight at 10, a Central Florida couple hopes you can learn from their home insurance nightmare. They filed what they thought was a simple claim with their insurance company a year ago, but they are still out of their home, paying out of their own pocket. Fox 35's Dana J reports on their tips for you. I mean, how much longer is it going to take to fix it? I don't know. This is the house that Harvey and Lynn Berger have owned for 30 years. We've raised our two children here, and we have lots of memories. But these days, when they look at it... We see the house, but we're detached from it. If you want to go in, you have to wear a mask. They've been living in a hotel since they were forced out almost a year ago. A pipe burst in July. A broken water line above the ceiling in this vicinity. Leading to a long, drawn-out insurance claim that included a dispute over the value of a damaged piece of furniture. The burger's first piece of advice, don't just take the money and run. Most people would take the first check and say, you know what, I got paid for something, I'm okay, and walk away. When actually, you really you really need to ask questions. You really need to be made aware of what really is the amount of damage that is, has happened to your home. Possibly a secondary water leak. That dispute led them to public insurance adjuster Brad Barrett. They brought him on in December. Sometimes the insurance companies act appropriately. Sometimes they don't. Normally, we get involved in when it's a nasty mess, when it's it's everybody's at wit's end and there's no place else to go. Public insurance adjusters work for the homeowners rather than the insurance company, and Barrett helped find the biggest mess in the Burgers' home. One of the first things he did was hire someone to check the home for hidden damage. Our home was full of bacteria, was full of mold, and just an unlivable situation. So the second thing they want you to know. If push comes to shove, do not be afraid to contact a public adjuster because of the simple fact that they're experts. Barrett says the burgers should be able to move their things out of storage and close the door on part of their insurance nightmare in the next couple of months. They hope the lessons they learned. This year has been somewhat of, you know, um, an uncomfortable and an unfortunate situation that I would like for other people not to have to go through. Can be a lesson for other homeowners, too. Fox 35's Dana Jay joining us now. Uh, Dana, here's a question. How do the public insurance adjusters, how do they get paid? Well, that's a good question. Public insurance adjusters, do they do come at a cost. The homeowner usually pays between 10 and 20 percent of the amount of money that they get from the insurance company. And of course, the, the insurance industry, though, that, that's got a take of the public adjusters, right? The insurance industry takes part of their pay. What do they have to say about it? Well, the insurance industry does have a take on the insurance adjusters. I reached out to Property Casualty Insurers Association of America, and a spokesman tells me their concern with public adjusters is that public adjusters may drive up insurance rates in the market as a whole. So, Bob, that means if insurance companies are paying more to settle your neighbor's claims, your rates are going to go up, too. But I think the burgers would tell you it really comes down to a personal decision about whether or not you think you can handle a giant insurance claim on your own. Okay. Dana J. Dana, thanks. You're welcome.